Hello and welcome to Series 2, Episode 7 of Old Brother, a podcast about Salford slash Manchester's legendary musical institution, The Fall. Each week we invite along a guest to chat about their experiences and memories of the group. You can find us at Spotify, Apple and all the usual suspects, but we're hosted at play.acast.com forward slash s forward slash Old Brother. All episodes are also available on YouTube. You can search for Old Brother Podcast and subscribe so you'll never miss an episode. This week, we're joined by a guest I know a lot of you have been waiting for, long-serving four member Mr Craig Scanlon. We caught up recently in a popular Manchester hostelry, which explains the background noise. Hope you enjoy it. All right, the latest episode of Old Brother with me, Paul Hanley, and my esteemed colleague, Mr Stephen Hanley. And when we decided to do this podcast, I think the first, probably the first name we had on the list is our, our guest today, I think. That's right, yes. Yes. I think so. Well, obviously, we had more important people. Well, you'd but... obviously say that I'm sitting in front of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <I'm... laughs> oh, no, Just shine daylight on the magic. That, that's Mr. Craig Scanlon. How are you, Craig? Oh, right. I'm all right, thanks. Good, good. A bit late, but you know, it's out of everything. <laughs> Patches Britain. So, jumping right in. The fir- when the first you came across, well, the first time you saw the fall, the Perry, is that right? Would that have been the Electric Circus, wouldn't it? No. No, that was at Rafters, pretty sure. What, the Rafters with magazine? It's either magazine or, um, is it Penetration? So I have very, very good names, but I definitely remember watching it in Rafters. See, we've had this before. We have, the, the, the Rafters gig with magazine, which was... was I don't that, know if it was, was magazine, there was right, a band before that, it was right. like Wayne County. <laughs> they supported them, didn't they? I've no idea, that's all right, that's news to me, right, OK. I had it down for the first time was at the Electric Circus. The last night of the Electric Circus and then magazine with the force. We've seen them before then, haven't we? No, that's where it differs. I don't remember that at all. I remember... I remember the magazine on it, but that was after the Electric Circus. No, I remember uh, standing next to Mark Riley and we just kind of looked at each other while we watched them playing. Right. And we basically said, this is the band. Ah, right, OK. This is, we knew this was the band because... We used to go to rafters all the time, didn't we? Yeah. And uh, it's kind of a lot of the bands were shit, really. They were yeah. like kind of plastic punk, weren't they? Tra- you know, and that wasn't the idea I had of a uh, because uh, as we we both thought, Sex Pistols were a bit of a pub band. Yeah. Great single, Anarchy. B side was great. At that yeah. But the actual but it didn't really sound anything I like hate, they sound like. No, I hate Twelve Bar. There was a lot of that. There was a lot of that. I hate that shit. Sounds like free with old man Steptoe singing. Yeah, and the, the best. <laughs> you turn and obviously, it's we Captain saw, Sensible. Yeah. Slot and the Dunks were just a riot because they're so funny. Yeah. So well, you'd seen them nah. before, the Sex Pistols, had you? you, no, talk, you no, see them? that was the first time I saw them. I thought you'd seen him in Withers, you? We've seen Slot and the Dogs before. Oh, Slot and the Dogs. That's what I'm talking about. So if you say you went to Slot, you went to see the Sex Pistols because Slot and the Dogs were on. Yeah, yeah. I just if I saw Slot and the Dogs in Wivenshaw, you probably did. Yeah, yeah, a bit, bit, of, bit of a way out for you, Wivenshaw. We used to uh, used to sneak into the free trade hall with Mike Rossi. Oh yeah, we might use him as a bathroom ram. <laughs> <laughs> we did. <laughs> 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 Run down the fire escape. <laughs> <laughs> but look, did anybody ever pay in the free trade hall? Everyone you ever talked to? Oh, always sneak, sneak in at the side and never pay. Uh, lots of times, yeah. but we saw loads of naff bands and you're like. Tch. Traffic. Super truly Trump. man, truly dreadful one. Budgie. Budgie. Oh, Jesus. 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 Back on turning overdrive. <laughs> Didn't you see Super Tramp as well? I saw Super Tramp. We're on the front yeah, row. We're on the front row. row. Good gigs, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. 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 Front row for Super Tramp. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting live band, then, weren't yeah. they? Yeah. 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 So anyway, oh, we were just into going to live bands. I was just so interested. So yeah, there's there's one. So you're going to see loads of gigs, and then you then you know the the big thing is the free trade all with Sex Pistols. Was that well, Buzz got to. Well, yeah, yeah, but was that? Did you think that was? Did it feel different then? That gig. <coughs> well, of course it did. Yeah, because we were just going to the free trade all, weren't we? Mm. And that was like a proper venue. And, uh, no, you'd been to the free trade all a bit, hadn't you? I know, but that kind oh. of small, intimate yeah. gig. We've, all ours were like free trade all. Yeah, yeah, and thousands. And, and the yeah. Apollo. Yeah. yeah. But that's the first time where there was just a few people. In, right, OK. And it felt strange. Yeah. And it felt a bit of a communal, didn't it? Yeah. We knew Slot and the dogs, and um, yeah. I knew 
Sister of Steve Diggle. All oh, right, okay. Has he got a sister? He had a brother. He might have a Sandra, sister. Sandra Diggle. All oh, right, okay. He's got she, a she was saying, oh, they're playing a gig in Manchester. Right. He was playing bass. Though. Yeah, yeah. Right, okay. And we ended up going to that. I didn't know, I forgot all about the Buzzcocks were playing, but I thought they were way the best band. I thought they were brilliant. Yeah. I loved all that sawn off guitar uh, that yeah. Shelley had. Just brilliant. Oh, all right, so, right. So then at some point you went, to see Buscox, presumably. Did you go to that Oldsworth Hall? Did you go to that? Oh, there's a band on the wall, did you go to? I think you're mistaken me for something with a memory. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can't remember the next time we saw Right, so should something. get Simon down here. Yeah, yeah. Jesus <laughs> Christ, the Marvel, the memory man. Bleeding, <laughs> hell. That studio was everywhere, wasn't it? <laughs> uh. Right, so anyway, so you, I thought that. You saw the fall for the first time at the. You, why did you go to the. Well, well, you, as I say, my memory was, uh, and I say, I remember standing next to Mark and we were both like just looked at each other after seeing that because Mark Smith was like. Yeah. Did lots of interactive talking between he was brilliant, songs. Wasn't he? Yeah. I mean, it's so incredible. Yeah. And I thought, this is the best band I've seen. This, we did said, this is the band for us. Right, okay. So then you start. Not in a kind of starfish way, but I suppose it was because <laughs> we went to every gig we played yeah, after yeah, that. Yeah. But the, the Electric Circus was, no. Right. Total blank on that. You were definitely there, I think, weren't yeah, you? We were there, yeah. Yeah, they went to both. Of is this the one with Steel Pulse? Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, they were on yeah. the first night, yeah. Are you, are, you, are you sure they were on rafters before this circus? No. No, you're not. not sure. No, they weren't. Or no, you're not sure. I'm not sure. I, I, from what you're saying now, I maybe I've got a feeling that I wasn't at that. Then it's just you and Mark. Could have been. Could have been. And, you, and then, we, we, yeah, probably. We, then we decided to go to the electric circus, right? Because they were on and the bus was yeah. on. It was closing down and all that. Yeah. And then. Then we yeah, started going to every time they played Manchester. So how many times do you reckon you saw them before Mark joined? Yeah. Saw them with Tony Friel, didn't they, obviously, didn't they? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Then they did the squat with Eric, didn't they? I remember that, yeah. That one so that's the one next yeah. door to Emily Pankhurst house, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. 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 And then that was squat. tiny. That was just basically a living room, wasn't it? Yeah. It's really good. Tiny to squat, yeah. yeah. Um, but so then, obviously, the next thing was Mark joined. So that must have been amazing, that to have somebody you, to have a great band with somebody you knew. It was absolutely it. gutting, wasn't it? <laughs> well, he left our band, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I tell you what, the quarry men were never the oh, same. No. Were they? <laughs> it was weird. It was weird. I don't know if you've seen me at the band of the world first. Yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's really good. I mean, it was happy for Bart, but it's kind of... It's a sweet. It was, yeah, because he's, you know, he's good, yeah. in, he's good in the band. <laughs> yeah, of course. Well, yeah. we've been trying for, it's been a number of years, we've been trying to get something together. It can't have been that many bleeding years. It, it, it seems like you're only that yeah, age. When you're young. Yeah, yeah. 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 Three months. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Probably, probably not where it was. Probably out <laughs> broken. Yeah. We've put three months in it at this point. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, they were. And then we got the kind of bizarre opportunity to join them and I remember after, after supporting them a number yeah. of times and I remember going to the rehearsal and then for some reason I was like directed to the p- piano it wasn't Snoopy piano no. I think we played ah. Rebellion Jukebox Rebellious Jukebox right okay I mean I don't like just the basic chords of a piano I'm not a piano player no no I was like gutted I thought oh shit right because Mark had switched to guitar yeah you coming on the bass and you were going to be the keyboard thought, player for it. this isn't going to work uh, I'm going to lose my mates here ah and right Mark's joined it and now Steve's joined it and, and you're stuck on here well no I couldn't I couldn't but about do a C on a yeah. Rebellious right so it's like god awful really and then uh, M- Mark Swift just said uh, let's try it on guitar Right, well, this is the first time it's been you diplomatic. See, you yeah. see, this, this, is a, this doesn't chime, this. This is totally different to my memory of it because I thought you you were the obvious replacement for Martin. And then I. No, be, but Mark, be, uh, Mark shifted the goalposts in that way because he wanted to get off bass because he wasn't a bass player. Mm. I mean, he's a good oh, bass player. Great bass player, yeah, yeah. yeah. But he decided he wanted to play guitar. And I think also to help you in yeah. on the bass. Yeah. 
Yeah, but all this you, know, got, you got stuck with a Susan phone, didn't you? <laughs> 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 it's, fun, it's funny. And I did have a really sick feeling when something for a bit. I thought, oh Jesus, I'm the only one not getting this gig. Man, you had the same, same feeling. Thing. <laughs> funny, isn't it? You should talk more. Yeah, yeah. Well, bloody right. Yeah. Communication. Have you ever read any interviews? Any interviews with XTC? Yeah. yeah. When. Uh, he had massive stage fright, I think. Yeah, yeah, they stopped playing live, didn't they? They stopped playing live. And they never talked about why, you know... Yeah, the, well, so they just the, stopped playing live and nobody ever mentioned Nobody ever Not stopped. getting many gigs here, I'm not saying. <laughs> um, there's loads, loads of bands like that, they don't talk. They don't, they don't. They don't they're, not, they're fairly dysfunctional, aren't they, people in that? So anyway, so... Once, well, that doesn't chime with the thing that Martin remembered, showing you the songs on guitar. Yeah, no. yeah, well, that didn't happen. That I mean, didn't happen. God bless Martin, but, uh, you know, he gets a bit confused. <laughs> I, 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 got, I, I don't. Did, did we ever go to Martin's place? I don't even know where it was. Well, but it didn't I, happen. I, I, think, I, I, don't, I mean, I don't. I, don't I think, think he's getting confused with. He might have shown Mark Riley mm. stuff. Well, that'd be possible. You'd have to show Mark, wouldn't you, yeah. when he joined? Well, he wouldn't have shown it because yeah. he had to show the bass line. Yeah, yeah. But uh, no, I, I said. Does it sound like me going round to Martin and saying, Martin, it doesn't Martin, really how, sound how do we like, play It doesn't this? sound massively like you, but then it's not beyond the realms of possibility. No, never happened. But right. it doesn't sound like there was this atmosphere around at the time. It's, I'm leaving the band and I'll just teach the new guy. Well, no. I mean, it was, <laughs> no, fairly, no, it it was fairly, yeah. I mean, when Martin told us in Factory, yeah. we gen- I generally didn't think, oh, fuck, what's going to happen now? Yeah, and yeah. I said that to Martin. Yeah. So what's going to happen now? And he goes, well, you'll probably join. Oh, and right. It never even occurred to me that. Right, right. Well, I mean, it was, it was, it was fairly <laughs> friendly because Una, Una was playing with you and you were supporting the fall, so it can't have been that dagger strong, can it? Because I presume, because they were united then, weren't they? Mm. Well, I don't, you know, Una only did a couple of couple rehearsals. She didn't do the gigs, did she? She did. She, yeah, she did a couple of gigs. She did Eric's with us. Okay. Right. Well, no, I definitely. Uh, he didn't, didn't just... get schooled. Um, right. I'm being a like Martin style. Yeah, yeah. Stuff, yeah. But no, he didn't kind of run through songs. But you must. But, I mean, Mark Riley kind of do yeah. some Martin risk, but I just play my own stuff over. Right. Well, well, no, but like, if you put away, it's pretty much. Yeah, well, I didn't play on that. I just do the um, guitar the very loud guitar. Solo. Yeah, but it's. I mean, it's not. It's not I me hated playing that because it's awful to play. Right, is it? <laughs> it's just. A, Pain in the ass. I <laughs> but it's a G7, uh, uh, listeners. He's miming a G7 yeah, a now. <laughs> Rock and roll, if for me. Oh, oh Jesus! It's a great song. I mean, no, it, I, I, no, I, I, guitar solo is great. Yeah, I prefer the Peel version. I've always preferred the Peel version. Well, not least because it's completely out of tune. Well, I've said this about five times now, but put away it's completely out of tune. But anyway, that's a different story. So, where were we? So you're now joined, but. Put Away and what was the other one? Uh, Printhead. They were both Martin songs, weren't they? So if you were, if he didn't show you, you would be, you were sort of doing this. Were you always with it? Well, yeah, that's easy to think. I mean, um, Printhead is not right. Is the not? Stooges. Right, oh, is it? Okay. <laughs> not right. Oh, right. oh, I didn't know that. Right, okay. But when you said that, the Printhead's not right, well, you played it wrong. Here. I found that weird when Martin came back. And, like, the first song he offered was another Stooges song. Hang on, well, hang on a minute. You've just jumped bloody <laughs> ten years. Which is <laughs> Little Doll. Oh, right. Do, 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 do. Do, do harpy. Mm. Ah, right. sing harpy. Yeah. Anyway, you, you, you've just lost ten years here. So, so the solution was that you two were going to join on in capacity unknown, either keyboards or. So is that was well, that? no, fortunately, I said Mark Smith said, uh, "Do you want to play guitar on it instead?" Yeah, right. So we did Rebellious with two guitars. Right, because that was quite that worked. That was quite a departure to have two guitars, couldn't it? Because yeah. it was it was for the fall. Yeah, for the fall. Yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. I always had that keyboard thing, you didn't <laughs> the snoopy. Yeah, the sort of, yeah. Awful bloody thing. We all played it, didn't we? I think I'm the only one who didn't play it, aren't you? Everybody else bloody did. It's pretty good at sustain, sustaining notes, though, isn't it? Jesus! <laughs> 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 I thought about Riley, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah Straining. Yeah. I played track and field. <laughs> 
<laughs> but apparently we were talking to Una about that and she bought that Snoopy keyboard and there was a review of it in the uh, Melody Maker the week after she bought it and said this is the worst keyboard that's ever been bought about. <laughs> I liked it though I liked it it was too. bloody awful awful thing I mean well I don't know there was, there was that much choice then. I don't think you could go into Mamalox and buy a synth but... don't it work like say in my area I think uh, <laughs> yeah no Yvonne's I, I thought if Yvonne's where she takes it for a walk yeah, that's nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah 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 so how long did Yvonne last then when you two came along was he bully her out is that what I'm doing <laughs> <laughs> she didn't last long did no. she no I, I thought Yvonne was great. Great, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I, I think she was just kind of overwhelmed because. Well, hang on, well, that, that, that doesn't work. This doesn't work, this. No, I think she was overwhelmed. No, I don't mean that. I mean, hang on. Janging, didn't it? Yeah, you you, you and joined Mark. and Mark said, play the piano. What was it? What was Yvonne doing at the time? Making a brew? She was still in then. Can't That can't have happened. Was she? Yeah. Yeah, she's on Roll Shumble. <laughs> But maybe she didn't turn up for the rehearsal. <laughs> Jesus Christ! This is it's a shit business, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> she did live in Sheffield or somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Maybe she wasn't. Well, I I know for a the fact there was like good signs for the keyboards. Mm. All right. That, 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 can't, that can't have been after Yvonne went. Can't, they can't have said we're going to demote. Well, no, it's not, it's not really demotion, but they can't have suggested moving you across the keyboards. Well, I would say Yvonne, it was Yvonne who was said she didn't want to do it anymore. Yeah? They had some pathetic excuse that she had went to look after a sick dog or something. So, the other thing I was going to ask you too, you were there at the time, what did you think when Carl got replaced with Mike? Were you, did you think it was a good move or a bad move or an indifferent or just different? Or you're obsessed with this, aren't you? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Big, I can give you my opinion. I'm a fan of Mike. I can give you my opinion. You're just fishing opinion. for us to insult yeah. Mike. Not at all, no. Because I, I well, was, obviously, I mean, Carl Burns I was about to say a fantastic drummer, isn't I it? think it was, it was a good thing because if he'd have just carried on with that, the way he played on the first album, I don't think the rest of the four would have worked. So, I mean, it's a good, good fact that he went away and came back. But if, we wouldn't have had, like... Fiery Jack. Oh. No, you'd never have had that. Flat of angles. Yeah. They had a certain style, didn't they? Yeah. Um, no, I, 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 see, they see you maligning me here, and I think it was a good thing that Carl got replaced by Mike. Yeah, but you think Mike Lee's a shit drummer, haven't you? <laughs> um, no. Well, well. <laughs> That's too long a pause there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, well I, was, I thought, Carl, the thing was, I, I, I wasn't a sound... to clear up, though, wasn't it? Everybody loves Mark slagging the band off, doesn't they? Yeah. And when he does that on Total Stones, well, you stop, you play and stop yeah. fucking showing off. That was purely Mike Lee. Yeah, well, I said that. You always thought it was you, didn't you? And yeah. his rotor toms. Yeah. yeah. Well, you can claim it if you want, Steve. Uh, no, no, you're all right. <laughs> they, they, they were bloody awful. Well, it's time perfectly. We was Mike open. <laughs> having a heart attack halfway through. <laughs> Mark, Mark, Mark Riley always said, because he, he couldn't get back out. He got to get so far into some of them roles, he couldn't find his way back to playing the beat. <laughs> The studio had left, we'd left, the crowd had left. Yeah. <laughs> That's a very unfortunate. Well, thing. no, anyway. I don't know what happened to Carl. I don't, did Carl leave or did he just replace him? Yeah, he left, day? yeah. He left? Well, 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 so it's not replacing him then, is it? Well, it is in well, that he left. Well, yeah, well, well, it's replacing him. It wasn't a total different. Yeah, it wasn't It wasn't my decision, was it? No, no, Carl left because he... And Mark was always into that kind of rockabilly look. Yeah, yeah. He loved, he loved the... No, Mike, I, mean, I think it was... Mike it. was in a teddy bar, teddy yeah. box it, and his drain pipes and his... Leopard skin bruff, flat hat. His brothel creatures. <laughs> yeah. Forgot about the leopard skin. Oh, was that that Yeah, the leopard skin flat hat, didn't he, Mike? He used to stand on his... Didn't we? Kit at the end. Never saw that. Never saw him do that. Yeah. But no, Mark loved that, all that yeah, simple yeah. stuff as well. Though. Yeah, no, it was great. No, I see, I, I think it was, I, you're maligning me, I think it was a good thing that Mike came in, but he, he, well, he wasn't a patch on Carl as a drummer. I don't think I don't think anybody would argue with that, would they? From yeah, but, it. Carl was a liability, though, wasn't he? <laughs> Wait, what, was he a liability? I don't, well, I don't know. Well, you tell me, I, didn't, I wasn't around then, really. So. 
I'm not even being mad at him. I'm not the most I, reliable person. I always found Carl. Oh, early days, I always found Carl hilarious. Yeah. Oh, me, I thought he was brilliant. Well, well I was a brilliant no, drummer and he's funny. Well, like, I was a bit of a, you know, I was a, a bit of hero worship with Carl. That was, well, I was, I was, when I saw that first gig at Bolden and it was Mike, especially with it being the old band but with Mike. <laughs> It was like there was a bit of an adjustment, wasn't it? When you're watching them play Psycho Mafia and uh, music scene with Mike on the drums, it was a, broke my heart. <laughs> well, he kept the beat. That's <laughs> <sorry. laughs> enough. He did. No, it's not. Excuse me. No, I mean, and, and Carl was good. He camped between both camps. Yeah, yeah. You know? So it was a good kind of in between thing for us. Yeah, yeah. Buffer. Yeah. And if we've not got there yet, it's going to be back and in a minute. He used to make Mark laugh most of the time. Yeah, he Mark, did, yeah. Mark knew he was a chancer, but he liked that people like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, try, oh, try yeah. it on. Yeah. So, I was going to ask the first time you were in the studio, was that that was with Oz, wasn't it? To do Rolf Rumble. That would have been the first time you were in the studio, wasn't it? Yeah. So, then the first time you both have been in the studio, I don't, Mike, I don't think Mike had ever recorded anything before, did he? I don't think. Apart from the pill, well, no, Pete, you haven't done it. Mike no, never yeah. did a peel session. He didn't do one, no. The first peel session you did was the first one I did. Yes, I suppose. Oh, Mike, I thought you said Mark. No, no, Mark had done a peel session. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's brilliant, that peel session with their boss it on. Yeah, mess of mine. Yeah, that's brilliant, that. Good drumming. You would have got Mike playing that, wouldn't you? But, uh, yeah, it was the first. So, where was that? It was in Wales? Was it? No, no, it was no, in it was Rochester. Six. Oh, I've just said that. Well, yeah. Cargo. Cargo, yeah. yeah. Cargo, As well. Well. Yeah, with Oz. Yeah. Producing. That's really weird, the sound on that single. Do you not think? Well, it's, it's really... a weird sounding room. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, Dragnet is the same, that kind of. You, you know you're in this kind of. Yeah, I'd say, yeah, you're right. Wooden room, yeah. wooden but box. It doesn't sound like and like, like grotesque, though. Does well, it? it does. I suppose the... Oz was like the sound man, the yeah. live sound man, and he didn't have a lot of studio experience. No. And then Grant didn't have a lot. Grant didn't have a lot of studio experience. Yes, I suppose. Well, well Girl Tess was a, was a lot more like folky stuff in a way as well. There was a lot of a. What's that one? Catherine Kelly. Yeah, and a uh, Girl Tess. Um, Grand Friday. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, and you hear, say, New Face and L. You, yeah. can, you can tell that's cargo straight away. I start it with doom doom. Great you, you, can hear, you can hear that yeah. room, that mm. cargo room. Mm. I don't think I, I don't think grotesque sounds anything like Dragnet or Road Rumble. No. Because there's a different spread of song, that's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. Oh, I, mean, I see what you mean, yeah, right. I mean, we're all sitting in. Uh, Oh, no, it wasn't all recorded at Cargo, um, Grotesque. It was. It? Oh, no, no, we did some at uh, 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 Grants, didn't we? Like container drivers and pay your apes. We did yeah. that tiny little studio in London. And, what, and you prefer that container what? drivers version to the Peel session? I do. Well, I think the Peel session's far yeah. superior. I've never, I've never thought so. Is that bloody Fender Rhodes? See, electric piano again. I'm not a fan. Well, that Fender Rhodes was brilliant, played by me. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't say there was anything wrong with what the play, what you were playing, and playing all the right notes, not necessarily on the right keyboard. <laughs> I was. They were two days apart. We did. The, we did. Um, <laughs> Street level on Monday and then the peel session the next day. No, it's a proper toilet at that place. Wasn't it just a yeah. Jesus Christ. Typical Grant place, <laughs> uh, with a real hippie commune. The, you know. the bog was all in the floor. Yeah. Dirty bastard. <laughs> Remember we played Switzerland and we stayed in like a hippie commune? Oh, didn't Jesus. I still have nightmares of that. They actually threw us out. I still have nightmares of that. Because we, the... we didn't communicate yeah. with them, I think. They, they, take, they take the lock uh, on the toilet so you couldn't lock the door and you're having a shant. Yeah. And now they walked in on you, didn't they? No, it was you. <laughs> someone got in the shower. Well, you were in the shower, someone came in the shower. Nice, beautiful, a beautiful people. Again, you, you're still you're jumping ahead here. Yeah, we've not got there yet. We've not even, I've not joined yet. We've not even got to the good days. <laughs> oh, this is what we're leading to, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the glory years. <laughs> No, it's not the. No, I'm just trying. Oh, up it's not trying the to British years. It's a hand to put pee. Yeah, no, I say, yeah. I'm just trying to keep it vaguely chronological. You know, someone's got to keep a bit of order. Right, go on then. All right, so 
Yeah. You did, and then you, oh yeah, you'd fire a jack, was it? That was in Wales, wasn't it? That's that was a great sound on that single. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, which, which version of. Um, I kind of listen to. I think you do when you. If you listen back to stuff like you kind of think, oh, I shouldn't have played that. Oh, I should have held back on that. I, I think that with Fiery Jack myself. What? I thought, oh, I shouldn't have gone that. Dee, 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 dee. Yeah, that no, that's the best bit of the blues. No, so. no. The, and I'm not, I'm not fishing for compliments. It's an honest feeling where you kind of, oh, I shouldn't have done that bit there. You know what? Mark, I Mark was like about to kind of sing something. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. You know, Bite the grenade or whatever, yeah. and I'm not kind of because that we did a lot of stuff we did live, didn't we? At that point, Mark yeah. even and the studio do stuff yeah. live, and I would interact with, yeah, I'd, of course. I'd, I'd, I'd play along with Mark's vocals when he's kind of getting all het up and like yeah. eat less grenade, and all yeah. that, and all. but there's certain bits on that song you're like, nah, I could have left that bit out. Oh, I'm, I, you can talk. Say, I'm trying to fish your comments, all your compliments, all you want, but I wouldn't change a note of your guitar on that. I think it's brilliant. Which version of Psychic Dancehall do you prefer then? The Dragon version of the single? No, it's the single one. It's on the B side of, of, of Fire of Jack. Well, well, what's the difference? Well, it's recorded I... again. It's recorded again. Right. Recorded it with, uh, in Wales when you recorded Fire of Jack. I don't know. I don't remember it. That was, <laughs> eight, eight, Clearly, yeah. that was ages ago. It was a while well, ago, yeah. Steve. Kind of it kind of negates the point of this podcast. Yeah. Oh, I don't, I don't know. It was ages well, your ago. Your kid doesn't remember. Do you not remember either? I don't. Was it radically different? I don't remember it being massively different. No. Um, it was a, well. It was a better sound, wasn't it? The sound yeah. did. That, oh, can't yeah, be that, really. No, well, there you go. Yeah, so I don't think I don't think it wasn't. Yeah, you know, didn't play it in three four. I don't know. I, I thought the uh, Dragnet one was great. I thought. Uh, I think it's, I it's me, great the way it opened. I thought, me, yeah, and, yeah. I thought me and Mark worked really well together. Yeah, yeah. Really, no, 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 and the way it, you know they got. It's a great song. The, the, the way it goes to double time for the chorus, it's a really clever song. But, uh, but anyway, so it, you've not got massive affection for the B-side. Remember backstage and like, somebody kind of go, who, who, who did um, Psychic Dance all? And I got you pointed at me. Yeah. You ripped that off um, Elgar, didn't you? <laughs> 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 Did no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've heard, well, no, I've heard the Elgar one. Does it go? Oh, no, it's Holtz. Holtz, so the planets, is it? Well, if that's the Holtz, you did rip it off. <laughs> Holtz pills, maybe. Holtz, Holtz bitter. He's very bitter about that Holtz one. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you've lost me train of thought now. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Won't go in anywhere. <laughs> No. Um, right, well, you asked what it's a, was a psychic dancer. Psychic dancer is the great song. No, I'll tell you what I was going to say. My, my, the, the, the quest of psychic disco was a real thing, apparently, yeah. called Martin. Yeah. <laughs> so, Pretty impressive. Yeah. Which I never thought. I know, never, never, I like apparently, Crossroad, uh, where the chippy is, that's got his, uh, his mule Europe. Oh, yeah. All right, OK. So that'll be one they can go to there when they do the tour. So see, yeah. I see Mark's for, when I used to tr- when I used to work. <laughs> We are going. We are going back now, aren't we? I trudge. Yeah, it is. Yes. Oh, is it? Okay. When I'm trudging to work yeah. in the morning, I see Mark's head peering through these silver birches. Bloody hell! Yeah. You're, bashing, you're laughing at me. <laughs> can't, can't leave me alone. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> right. So. Then you did, you played a fair bit, and you did the first American tour, didn't you? Then yes. with Mike. Took his drum kit over, as I recall. It was a privilege I never bleeding got. Uh, but there's no bitterness. No. <laughs> he took that drum kit to America. He did, yeah. Because mm-hmm. there's a great picture of you. I think it's on the way back, where you're all sat in the airport lounge, all like looking completely and all pissed off. I don't know who took the picture, but it's a fantastic picture. So that, was, that must have been quite the experience. It's the first American tour. It was brilliant. Yeah, it was. Um, it was everything I wanted America to be. Yeah, and it was. I mean, that, those times, late seventies. Mm. You used to you watch tip things and you see yellow cabs and all. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's a real one. You get there just to see that that yeah. kind of basic level and. Uh, 
don't know, would have been 18 or 19, so yeah. still young and all that. Yeah, see, by the time I got to America, you were, you were both very jaded with America, you'd been there a number of yeah, times. Yeah, I, I always loved going to America. Yeah, me too. That Iroquois, that was like, that was like being in a film, like, you know, yeah. staying at the Iroquois, old James Dean. You remember, it's a, a real big deal, that yeah, yeah. But it was an absolute toilet when we were there, cockroaches all over. No, it wasn't, like, yeah, yeah, but... And when I when we were in the Iroquois, the receptionist said, "We sort of said, where can we go up to eat?" He said, "If you turn right out of here and then right again, you'll be in Town Square. Don't whatever you do, turn left out of here because you're taking your left and your hands." I mean, that was not, what was nineteen what eighty three, was it? Mm. But, I mean, there's I no. I think the first uh, we went into a diner, we had the meal, and we were paid for it. We went, for, we went straight to the till. Didn't right. know anything about waiter service. Ah, we right. serve, and we paid like the exact money. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that went down well. Just, oh, excuse me, sir. This is, uh, we live on gratuities. We oh, didn't yeah. even know what that meant. We just went, all right, OK. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Consequently, we were never invited back. But <laughs> yeah, well, that's a big thing. It's a big difference. Because it's not like, I think, people now. I mean, I don't sound kind of old fat, but people know a lot more about America now. It was quite... <laughs> Quite no money. The only thing you got then was from films and stuff, and there wasn't that many of them. Taxi. Well, 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 when we went there, it was basically when New York was kind of kept just going bankrupt. Yeah, yeah. It was there's, there's no, uh, there's really no regeneration. No, no. Well, you see the films. You, you, you see people walking down the road, and there's just like shit all over the road. Well, well, that's what it was like. Yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. Because, I mean, I'm so sure London, well, London was the same. That was that thing with the squads. Yeah, well, we were hardly tut- tutting, really. Yeah. Yeah. Can we no, we no, no, no. <laughs> But, I mean, that, that, that thing with street level and, and where Grant was, that was all them squats in London as well. Yeah. The, the massive big sort of Georgian Aldi's that did with, like, 55 crusties living in London. Horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I hated that. I hated all that, mate. You know, with the squats. No offence to crusties. <laughs> I could drive my other room with a bar of soap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that here and now thing was because we. Well, that was great though, because we got yeah. gigs and I thought they were. I thought they were all right for what they were. Yeah. They played loads of different type of songs, didn't they? It wasn't all just kind of a. I don't have any massive memories of them. See, I, I must have seen them. I must have seen them play here and now. Because I think. I they, mean, they're horribly like a big family though, weren't they? Yeah, they were, yeah, yeah. yeah. They had the kids there and all that. That's wrong. It's totally wrong. <laughs> Yeah, well, I, I, I get here and now mixed up with Deeply Veiled. In my head, they're both the same thing, and it's... Well, they are, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's all, yeah. you know, the great unwashed making bean burgers over a fire. I hate that. I remember... I've not, I've not heard us live there, though. I've seen the picture. An album. That, that, what, a, what a jumper that is, that you've got on. I was on. about to say that. <laughs> I just remember wearing this hideous jumper. <laughs> With the broken heart. heart. <laughs> it was not a broken heart. It was, it was it? a zigzag. Oh. It looked like a broken heart. It, bro- it, 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 it might even be a tank top. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think it even had sleeves. I think it was a tank top with a broken heart on it. Um, it was a pullover. <laughs> <laughs> pullover. <laughs> Sweater, if you will. <laughs> but, th- th- but. Yes, this is a live album. I believe the recording is absolutely appalling, though. I don't think. Oh, uh, yeah, I have heard a bit of it. Uh, it's, it's unlistenable. <laughs> There's a few of them though. Some, some of them for There's somebody at the moment. Just some. I don't know how it works on my phone, but I kind of get a, a prompt saying, "Oh, this is available." And there's loads of false stuff yeah, going out. Tons. Eighties and stuff by someone. Um, yeah. Dirty Pearl. Oh, right. And it's got just everything. It's like 81, 82. I listened to one. Oh, yeah, that's what we were saying. Man was having a right pop at you. Me? <laughs> a drum in on one. Eight, yeah. Oh, you were? Oh, Marcus. All oh, right, what did he say? That's oh, so what I say. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be upset twice. <laughs> no, well, I, think, I think I'm big enough now. You, know, you, know. Well, you just get it together, pals. So wake up and all this is doing all that. Bastard. It's really, it's really bad that doing that. I, like hated, I hated that. Do, him doing that in front of an audience yeah, yeah. and he had to do it down the fucking mic right. that's yeah, telling you could yeah. quite easily walk away from yeah, it yeah of course yeah. Ball, fucking wake yeah. up yeah there's one there's one where after um, uh, ex induction hour he says uh, you'll have to forgive the band tonight they believe what they read about themselves <laughs> fucking I mean, come on <laughs> yeah that, that's well I know it's that kind of it's just changed the fucking uh, band to himself at times yeah it uh, when he wasn't in the mood 
he would rip blame us. Yeah. He'd turn it round, it was our fault. You yeah. Know? Wait, you get lots of wake up, wake up. Yeah. Or it, we saw us eating the meal before and go, you fat bastards, <laughs> wake up. <laughs> did yeah yeah and, uh, and I say there was a lot of gigs where he was bored right and he fucking uh, try and he tried to uh, blame the band or, right you know because I, I think we were, you know, we were pretty consistent, I think. I don't think we were ever, like, one night. I think we were far more consistent than he was a lot of the time, do you know I think we were a lot more consistent. Yeah. I remember, I think we played a London gig, and he was doing his usual uh, shouting and stuff. And I mean, at first, I, I just kind of used to just sit there and, like, mm. you know. But I like to say that yo man, we get bothered and it was a, not a good gig but yeah. anybody mm-hmm. said yeah. him, him as well. Yeah. So yo know, man, it bothers us just as much. It bothers me just as much when we don't do a when we Definitely, do a bad yeah. gig. Yeah. And it's so shocked that I like spoken up. Yeah. So like, oh, crap, don't worry about it, Craig, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because it wasn't I mean we've we've talked about this before in the box, it was a man of bleeding life and death, some of them gigs, really. They weren't Every gig was. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we ever, you know, were complacent. No, no. If you're in a good band, every gig fucking matters. Yeah, Yeah, but you you, you say that, but you look at, like, our contemporaries then, if you look at, like, what New Order were, and if you read either Barney's books or Huggy's books, they're off the fucking head, aren't they, them gigs? You know, they didn't. The privilege of being able to go out and earn your living. It doesn't mean it's going to be a bad gig. It doesn't necessarily, but that's another thing, isn't it? That's the other thing, is what the band thinks a good gig isn't always. Oh, man, that... Loads of times that had happened, I'd come off stage thinking it was <laughs> awful, and Mark would think it was great, or the other, or I'd come off thinking it was great, and Mark would think it was awful. Yeah. And, Mark and, then, and then it kind of got to a stage where you keep your mouth shut, find yeah. out if Mark thinks it's great, and then Mark you can go, yeah, 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 happy days, get the beer out. Yeah, but, yeah, but that's, that's two people on stage, but then yeah. the audience perception is different again, isn't it? Or, yeah. Well, uh, I think we're mostly uh, ecstatic, the audience. Yeah, uh, I think so. Because yeah. consider, even us at our worst, we're a lot better than uh, most of the bands going around at that yeah. time. Fair enough. Can't argue with that. Because, well, I remember, when, I think we're playing Hammersmith Pallery the, the night before. I think we are staying in these shit hotels, what is it? Oh, yeah. Ladbroke Gardens. Oh, or fucking hell, man. What like dumb, man. four of us in the room, wasn't it? Yeah. And a proper cut even. Oh, aye. Yeah. in the Hammersmith Pallery the next day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But, that, I, but I remember was... Mark Riley's like going, Craig, it's like some kind of like, in the middle of the night, campfire like. thing. <laughs> Are you awake? Yeah. That type of stuff. It was like four of us in a bleeding room. Right? What well, like going? Hell, what hotel rooms have four beds? <laughs> and Matt, the Ladbroke Gardens. The Ladbroke Gardens. Yeah. Probably, had, had, probably sh- had two. They put two more in for us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bastards. Well, always remember the sheets in that hotel. You pull them on, they're fucking damp sheets. Oh yeah. Disgusting that hotel. But anyway, Matt was like going. Craig, do you think we're the best band in the world? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's oh, the type of question you ask like at yeah, two yeah. in the morning. Yeah, yeah. And we were like discussing it. We said, "Well, we are." We said, we're "Our only rivals at that time, we both agreed, was the Cramps and the Birthday Party." Yeah. I think the Birthday Party were playing with us no, no, the yeah, next yeah. day. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I hate the fact, I mean, we absolutely blew them off the stage. But I hate that phrase. Yeah. We were just brilliant. We were, yeah. And they had some shit sound, man. And they were awful. awful well, Mark sound. has this theory that they were really trying to blow us off the stage because they, they had like a fire eater and they were, you know, and but we. They didn't have a fire eater. They didn't have a fire eater. They had somebody in the audience who'd put some gas down his throat. Well, what did I expect? They just what? Yeah. And they blew fire over. So he didn't have a fire they just somebody who put gas in the throat and blew it out. And yeah, fire came I don't out. think okay. arranged. It? Oh, he just rocked up with his fire eating equipment. Yeah, <laughs> Martin showed him how to do it. <laughs> 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 But anyway, <laughs> still got a burnt tongue from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, they were always brilliant. They were. Yeah, yeah. The end of gigs were fantastic. They were. They were. And, uh, and you got video evidence of that. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, but, but then you, that night, you're saying that you're saying a band who were off the face. Yeah. 
They were brilliant. Uh, the best of right, say, yeah, so they were, and the cramps were just sort of fantastic. Amazing. Oh, man, it was just yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Well, we, I, I, we used to do a switch, didn't we? Play, um, they played yeah. one night. We did a first. tour where we'd swap headlining. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, that, that. I think we played the London one, and Kay was screaming because the cramps were sad everywhere up on stage, and they were supporting us, and it's like, no, they weren't. Follow we that. supported the cramps that night. I'm sure we did. That was my first gig, the London one. It might have been, it might have been somewhere else. Well, it might have been somewhere else yeah. because Kay was fuming. Yeah. Because she knew they were. I think they let us headline in Birmingham or something. <laughs> no, they did a few of it. I thought it was Scotland. I don't think they were particularly happy about coming over from America and supporting, oh, and right, supporting yeah. anyone. But, but there's, a, there's a really nice people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's always yeah. that, that story of Mark saying, put, getting looked in serious, putting in front of a million, saying, look at the state of the way you look. That's fucking brilliant, looks in serious. <laughs> I remember in the dressing room, because we had to share the dressing room, and yeah. he was doing a little pirouette with his eyes closed, whilst uh, Ivy did the loads of hairspray. Brilliant. Well. They, were, they were amazing, weren't they? they were. Everyone. I mean, that Nick Knox on the drums, the coolest And then they had Brian Adams. Yeah, yeah Brian right. Adams. <laughs> and then they did the, Brian Gregory. <laughs> Brian Gregory. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Knox. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. He, brought, he brought, smashed his guitar, as I recall. You know, like a flying V guitar at the end of uh, Human Fly or whatever. No, not not I'm a surfing bird. He, he smashed it and the oh God, he smashed his guitar. And someone said, he's got he's got a supply of the really really shit guitar. And he gets he gets like eight of them. Well, they were fantastic. They were brilliant. But they were the only two bands I thought oh, ploughing their own kind of. And the Virgin Prunes. Virgin Prunes, I always thought were brilliant. No, comedy act. <laughs> 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 I saw, I saw them once and they were really good. They kind of got all that theatrical stuff. Yeah, yeah. All that. And I think, I don't know, it's just... I loved them. What's, it, what's the LP where um, Gavin sings? That's all of them. No, no. No, he ruins... Oh, Claire, uh, it's a wonderful and frightening world, though. Do you not like his vocals, no? It's a bit over the top. Did he really over the hill? Cop- copped it? Eh? Copped it and... It's all right, but in bits you kind of... It's another one where you should have left that bit out, really. should have mm. left that. It's like with Kenny fucking Brady singing. <laughs> Kenny Brady singing? Oh, he played oh, the fiddle. God, yeah. Book of Lies. Book of Lies. He, he ru- ruined that song. Awful. Why the fuck did Kenny Brady sing Book of Lies? Who wrote the lyric then? It was a presumed with Mark, was it? Yeah. Why did he have him singing it? <laughs> he, he just sang, like, only line, didn't he? <laughs> It was, it was quite a lot, really. Quite a lot, isn't it? Yeah. Why? I don't know. I mean, what LP is it on? It's on. Uh, Doesn't shift, care. Shift work. Doesn't car sing one. There's one. I'm sure there's a song car sing. Stay away from the old white. Yeah, but that's a cover, isn't it? So yeah. that's slightly different. Yeah. But I don't know why Mark did that. That could have been a good song if uh, I just don't think Mark was asked about it. So mm. he kind of gave it to Kenny Brady to fucking do it. It's a great song. <laughs> <laughs> Musically, it was all right. Mm. It could have been all right, but yeah. you know, there's certain things that Mark doesn't want to put the effort in. Fair enough. I mean, to be fair to Mark, there's a lot of stuff, isn't there? Yeah, I think he did have this thing where people were not bored, that people might get bored of his voice. Right, and okay. Sort of mix it up a bit. Right, okay. But I yeah, he does on the same LP a lot of wind. <laughs> There's one that's used to be uh, talking to John Pill about the football, the problem. That's Mark's little... It's a total ingrate at times, Mark. I mean, uh, he what? kind of dumped it on me, this. He obviously kind of a... Uh, oh, John Peel, you yeah. might comment on the City match. Right. In West Ham. And he just phoned me and said, Oh, Craig, could you do... They want us to... Could you do this interview? You go and watch City, don't you? Right, OK. So I end up kind of... How did that... That's a weird thing, though, isn't it? What? Well, at the time, Peel had this where he'd uh, interview oh, right. people in bands. About football, right? About football, yeah. Right, OK. So I did the kind of interview with him, and it's a... It's a dreadful game. Was it? And like me and Wayne went, and I went, remember going back to Wayne's waiting for the car from the BBC to do the interview. Right. And it was just like, you know, Pete was like, oh, well, how was it, Craig? I said, well, it's really grim, you know, it's yeah. terrible. 
and say like, they're playing too much football, passing about. Yeah, yeah. Shit. The future. What? It's the future. Yeah, it's what they do now, yeah. Mm. But obviously, Mark just cuts it to where uh, I'm just like, oh, yeah, just playing a bit too much football. It was his little dig. I see. His no. little joke at a, a, band, at your a band member, yeah. Uh, okay. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them, yeah, yeah. Noel's Kirk Chemical <laughs> Effluence. Are you on that? Is that your... You used to learn about them and that was... Of course it was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. So <laughs> selfish, yeah. I've listened to that. It's a guitar, fantastic guitar, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's more of a song than you think it. Is it? Yeah. Because yeah. right. it, it was... But always... it only kind of got one out of it. I remember, yeah. I think we're all... Me, just me and you. Just, I don't know if any of it, but we're just sitting in a circle, right, like, just doing that. And just in the studio, kept, yeah. yeah, just yeah. kept going on and yeah. on. And we were never asked to kind of do it again, do a second take. No. Well, that was too, it's too much of that. I always think that's some well, of the, 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 It's one of the... There was always one kind of novelty song on every album. Right. On the, no, but there's too many songs where you think, I could have nailed that. I have to give him a bloody chance to do it one more time. I don't know. I think we nailed it on that song. I was surprised. I thought, well, are we not going to do it again? Right. Or he's going to keep hold it for something else because I thought it was great at the time right okay right. Um, there's loads of shit we did you think, is, there, is there though even up and eyes is there a lot of, I'm not just sure there's as much shit on four albums as possibly you might have thought there's, oh, that's right. a lot of wind oh well, that's one kind of bugbear <laughs> being af- <laughs> athlete cured yeah mm. obviously because it's just a rip off of the spinal tap yeah but, uh, yeah Tonight I'm going to rock you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought my guitar was it. To disguise it. Yeah. To disguise well, well, it. I always thought, funnily enough, I always thought... I'd rather do this, old Steve. I'd have to yeah. out with Bricks did a... Uh, I want to be your dog. Yeah. <laughs> I was just about to say, I always and thought... And he was like, going, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? What was it? I said, well, just don't play along with the riff. Right, OK. And I was doing like... Doo, 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 I was just about doo, to say... To try and disguise yeah. it. So did yeah, I do? Then we start... You went... Boom, 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 I was like, look at... Fuck you. Well, I was going to say... I thought I'd be down in the mix. I was going to say, you could easily... If you took Briggs' guitar down and just put your guitar... You could have made a different song of it, but the mix of it... Couldn't it worked in the end, though, did Yeah, you did it again. Didn't you rip off films again for another song? Well, not rip off elves again, rip off Honor Be Your Dog again. There's another song that's not riff again. No, no, no. No, 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 no. no. Oh, Alright, okay. <laughs> so, uh, what I was going to ask you about, seeing as you did, it's the songwriting process, or the music writing process, was the one. Because you two were at it for a long time, weren't you, in the same, between, you know, people came and went, but you two were the kind of engine room of. So, was there a process, or was it different every time? Did you have a particular way of doing things, or. Well, originally it started out. Me and Mark Riley. Yeah. Steve has kind of came into it a bit later. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think the golden period for us when we're doing um, we got the luxury going to Dave Bush's house. That was brilliant, wasn't it? Yeah. That really was. Yeah. But as far as it, it was like Riley Scanlon. Yeah. Leonard McCartney. Leonard McCartney. As we point yeah. out. Hey, bloody hell, delusions of grandeur. <laughs> no, that was to wind up Mark. Yeah. And it worked. Yeah. It drove him mad back. But you, when if you credited one of you, you had to credit. Yeah, because yeah. he wanted to do Smith the Fall. Right, yeah. Which is... Oh, she's good, yeah. Which is... Dod- no, it's dodgy, though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah but he gets 50% and then another percentage. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Is it any more dodgy than him making it up every single time and having it different? There's some well, really... After, after a period, I just... You stopped at looking, looking at song credits. Yeah. Well, Wings is the one you point... You have, you have pointed it out before. Wings is credited to you and... Me. I only found... I only found that out later. I only, I only got a phone... Uh, Somebody gave me a phone about five years ago, so I've had no access to uh, records. Right. Right. All I've got in my house are... Um, Bitter memories. I've got a, a Live to Air Melbourne band <laughs> yeah, yeah. gave me right. after I'd left the band. Right. And um, White Label, Grotesque yeah. and yeah. Slates. We were right. saying this the other day, we've got nothing. Nothing. No, no. Nothing. It's true though, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I've got about five or six totally wild in the drawer. Right. I was supposed to pass around amongst friends. Oh, right, OK. We'll have some money then now. <laughs> the proper ones with the sleeve and the... Well, yeah, the face yeah. on, yeah. Yeah, you know, they're worth, worth a gig. There's a pension there. I'm not joking. I'm joking, of Disguised. course. So anyway, no, so... Um, 
But you talked about the songwriting process. Yeah. That, I mean, my memories of the best of that is that you'd be a songwriting session and you'd turn up with like two or three ideas each. Put the one you, that you thought was, you know, more it's likely to get through, and then yeah, maybe that'd be rejected or it'd be accepted, and then and everybody'd do that, and we'd end up with a four or five. So is it, did everybody? Write I think it was, it was a bit later. That, yeah, that, that was later. Yeah, because I remember at times when we were at Dave Bush's, yeah, we'd do stuff, wouldn't we? And then David delivered the tape to Mark. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. we wait for the phone call. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? It's what, a no, no from me. Uh, David, and he would get a call from Mark, and he's like, going, "What's this shit? He <laughs> <laughs> ripped it off the prodigy." <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I think on one he puts "passable." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which was Pascal Mad. Uh, ah, so, right. Uh, it was yeah. about the only one who. This was it's like the fucking Rolling Stones. This one passable. <laughs> Bloody hell! Yeah. But uh, it was good uh, for us in a way that um, that we'd just go there to Dave's, write the music, mm-hmm. and then send it off to Mark. Yeah. And he really had nothing to do with it, did he? No, at that point. Uh, no, at that point. Yeah. Well, I mean, you, you, that was a strong because Simon was writing as well, wasn't he? Yeah, we were all writing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I still say that's the, my favourite. Well, my f- favourite fall cover is I think a lot of fall covers are shit, but um, uh, Lost in Music is fucking magnificent. <laughs> I have to say, that is brilliant. I thought I thought the well, Dave Bush. I hate cover versions, but that's the only. I think that that's the only good one. And um, Rolling Danny. Rolling Danny's pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, you're not on that. No, no, I'm not. Yeah. That's why I like the bass. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, Rolling Danny, yeah. yeah. But it, uh, I think so it, it got a bit grim then, that sort of. I, I mean, that Xanadu and. Yeah, oh, yeah. I hated that song, it was an original. Parents' music. How did you feel about the whole sort of chasing a hit? Did it, did it, did it was a bit of a Never penny fucking ass? bothered me. No. Did it not? No. Well, who did I, it? I who don't did remember. it? Who did it bother? It must have bothered someone. Well, Steve, you did a book called The Big Mid- what, Midweek. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Was that looking All at right. the charts? <laughs> that never bothered me, that. I also... I didn't really... You know, I didn't lie awake at night thinking we've got to have a hit single. Yeah. Well, who did it bother? I, I, there was I just thought that... Just... But, I, but we did go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was going to say, there was definitely an attempt. There was money was spent on videos and all that shit. And yeah. and, 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 a... Somebody must have wanted a hit. And well, the, I, I think surely that was Beggar's Bank. It was that where we had yeah. loads of 12 inches, like, yeah, yeah. So remix of In old, the north, old, old, old brother, old brother, yeah. brother yeah. like yeah. 10 versions of that. Yeah. So. Yeah. Trying to get the same people to buy it again and again. Yeah, yeah. But, you know... That was just yeah. lazy record company shit. This is, yeah. That was the norm for everybody. I know it was. And yeah. I'm surprised yeah, it's, we, it's... we went along with it. But yeah, we, maybe. Yeah. But Mark was with Bricks, and Bricks, a very ambitious woman, so she, yeah. she wanted all that stuff. But, uh, you know, without, without being funny, Mark must have, uh, at that point, he must have at least been ambivalent about it. He wasn't, because there was times when I thought that he was you actively... You don't think Mark was wearing long leather coats at that Yeah, yeah, I know, but it was, there was times when I was in the fall when Mark actively went against... Sabotage. ...getting yeah. popular. Yeah, so, so there was a period of time there where he did, when he, if nothing else, he stopped. He played the game yeah. at the time, but... So we, but, I mean, you know, when you're in the band, we didn't... Yeah. I don't know... Ooh, we're going to be on top of the pops next week. Or we, we didn't, you know, we wasn't. Yeah. We just... I remember you phoning me up saying we might be on top of the pops next week. Uh. Apart, <laughs> apart from the time when I ran great, you said we might be on top of the pops next week. I never, never thought. I never thought we were going on top of the pops. <laughs> <laughs> you can't give over. <laughs> Well, well, yeah. Why would you not? Well, well, that's, well, that's, hang on, I'm going to take issue. Got, what was the word when we went quite high then? Was it Ghost in the House? Ghost in the House. But um, why yeah. would you? Why would you be in a band that issues singles if you didn't want to go on top of that? Yeah. Why would you not? That was to never in my psyche, you know. It was just this is the band. Yeah. Oh, right. Calling back to me and Mark Riley. This is the band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course and it is. Yeah, yeah. I get that. Absolute fish out of water. Yeah, I know, but you're not... stuff they had there. You're not a folk man. You, you, there's, 
you want people to hear it, don't you? And why would why would there's no, I'm not what I'm saying is there's nothing wrong with what I think it's, all about, it's the same with Mark. I think he just wanted to be able to pay the wages and yeah. uh, not have to get a proper job. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that was I'm it. just happy doing what we were doing. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm, I have no problem with that, but I don't. We had, I don't... The people who's like, as I say, Bricks was very ambitious. Yeah, still is. Still is, yeah. K. Was that okay, kind of it was a different kind of ambition. Red Brigade, kind of communist, yeah, don't yeah. never sell out. Selling out was a big thing. Massive thing, with Kay. And that, Massive. T- that influenced Mark a lot. Yeah, but that's gone she completely was... now, though, hasn't it? The idea that you would... Because, I mean, it's not just a thought. I mean, no, yeah. I think Mark had still had residues of that K philosophy. <laughs> you know, the kind of, you say, sabotage stuff. Yeah. I think there's an element of Kay, like, saying, oh, you're going too far yeah, yeah. in his head. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I remember that they, they thought Buscocks had sold out because they'd, someone had obviously, they'd obviously had a hairdresser for the picture on the cover of Love Bites. That was them selling out for Mark and Kay. There was, you know, they, 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 someone had taken the time oh, to make them look nicer a photo. She's proper strict. Oh, I ridiculously. Kay, Kay and that. Well, that's a good, in a yeah, way. It's good, yeah, I'm not. Yeah. I think when we joined, we're all kind of... Um, not socialist, but we were what's it? We were kind of very left wing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we didn't I, was, any... I was a socialist, I still am, you know, in a lot of ways. Well, but... I've always been Labour and all that, but yeah. K was like the extreme of old hippie, you know. Yeah, yeah. But they're using the biggest breadheads. Yeah, well, you've got to watch uh, that. Look, look at your Richard Branson. Grand Showbiz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, that's uh, his private jet, Grand Showbiz. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love Grant, but he was a, a proper breadhead, like a proper hippie. Right? Like, yeah, well, I, I can see it. Yeah, there's definitely a correlation there. <laughs> <laughs> if you're listening, Grant, <laughs> we don't think you're rich in Grant. <laughs> You've just been slagging off the crusties. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, good, okay, right? I thought, yeah. Grant was never a crusty. He had a briefcase. <laughs> <laughs> so, later on, when. You left the fall, or were left into the fall. And you, and you lost, kind of lost that, interest in that. That was a weird day, because you found me up there. Yeah. Uh, so no, before we get to that, had you, had you lost interest in it? Or how, did you think you weren't... Were you phoning it in by that stage? Or would... No, this is, I'm just disappointed with Steve and everybody who does that. Right. In, where they kind of say, oh, we well, wasn't bothered. Because I, I thought I'd never do it. It's like with Mark Riley. I'd never like, say, oh, he lost since He was sat because fucking Mark and Kay couldn't handle him, uh, you know, yeah, like, yeah. answering back. Yeah, of course, yeah. Um, the, 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 why, why were the, you There's an Ellen. Do you think? Well, unkempt appearance. No, 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 fa- no, 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 Why do you really think you were really... You stand up in court, that, wouldn't it? No, really. Why do you really <laughs> think... Nowadays. Why do you really think you were sat then? Well, Mark... Oh, and he said he thought he needed a sacrificial lamb. Right, OK. Because he thought the band were getting lazy, which yeah. is... A, is is pro- it true that they were? perennial... Well, after the, the farce of a just... cerebral court, whatever it's yeah. called. Yeah. That, I mean, that was just kind of... Too many fucking guitars. For well, that. Oh, Jesus. I was going to say, was gonna say that, so at that time there was... There could have been possible good songs in it, yeah. but apparently... Well, oh, Everybody was playing guitar Don't then, ask really? a fucking yeah. drummer to play guitar. No, yeah. no, no. As a drummer who's has played guitar, it's a terrible idea. You've done some decent stuff on winter. It's nice, subtle. It's all right. <laughs> Carl, Carl... <laughs> He's just a rockist. He is, yeah, he know. is a rockist, yeah. 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 And uh, that's the worst possible combination for the fall. Right. Rockist guitar. Yeah. When we work with Craig Leon, yeah. he's all, he overdub proper rockist kind of guitar solo on it. Um, on, is it Ed's Baby did? Did it? There's mm, loads what? of fucking up to it. Right. And it's like, that's not the fall. No, not at all, no. I mean, it's I think of... that, that kind of got us thrown off. Um, Bonagher. Whatever they but they gave us kind of um, they paid us off basically yeah. to get off the label, right? And we did um, what's a big seller after that? Entertainment scam, yeah, yeah. kind of yeah. went top it didn't work for us on a major label. Did you not? Know, what's up? Well, that was a fat, I mean, 
Well, Ship, for shipping us to Wales. We went to Wales, didn't we? I think. Yeah. yeah. I Carl gave me a lift there on his bike, Gustav. <laughs> and uh, I remember spending. Gustav was the name of his bike. Yeah. <laughs> I spent half the morning trying to tape Gustav his bike to start not up to much or something. Mm. Yeah, I, thought, I bet this is costing loads of money. Yeah, yeah, well, this, well, is, this is ridiculous. Like the yeah, that, that's that's mental. It's the amount of money people spend in studios avoiding recording anything. It, and that, residential suits. It's yeah. not good when they've got wine cellars. Yeah, it's, it's not good for you. I don't think it's going to happen. It's certainly not good for the fall, is it? Yeah. So, so, hang on. So just to, they don't lock the door. No, <laughs> just to get back to it, so. You think you were a sacrificial lamb because Mark thought the band was getting a bit lazy. Yeah, but also there's an element of I was fed up because right. the like, cerebral car six or whatever it's fucking called and that shit LP we did. So you were fed up then. So I was you? fed up, yeah. But then again, there's lots of people fed up. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. like, Mark was fed up for about three or four years. Yeah, well, yeah. We didn't fucking get rid of him. No. Well, no. And every band member's had a period of air again. Yeah, if you stay around long enough, I mean, it's, a bit weird if, is it? oh, it's probably a bit weird if you don't get fed up. You're fed up of being slagged off and all that. But, again, it, it's a weird thing, isn't it? That, because it was kind of unthinkable to sag you in a lot of ways, wasn't it? Because you had been, what, 15 years or something? I mean, it, it was no, like, longer than that. How long have you been in now? You've gone up to 22 yet. <laughs> That's next year. Was the I'm last working one. on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I reckon so have you been 22? I've been 18. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. well, no, he, he, count, he counts the year Roddy in as a year. Yeah. So if you count that, that's 16 years. What about years. your uh, break? That was only three months. Was it three months? Yeah. Felt, did it feel like longer, Craig? <laughs> felt like five minutes. Come to turn around, he was fucking back again. <laughs> So, no, so obviously you know, I was pissed off and also the way it was Steve phoned me up so I always sat the band and uh, Steve phoned me back to well, well is I think sat you you need to speak to him. Yeah. Thought, did you speak to him? I eventually went round to his house and uh, Saffron answered. Right. And I could hear him in the background. Like, well, that's doing his the, usual crew. And she's like going, yeah. Oh he's not in. Fuck. And then once that, once I heard that, I thought, oh fuck it, man. Well, yeah, I mean, you, okay. you know, you, you fight. You. If he doesn't want you in the band, it's, it's a, bit, it's already well saying you should fight for your place. But why fight yeah. for the place against someone like Carl Burns? You know, yeah. uh, get sacked and he'd come back. Mm-hmm. And uh, Mark liked that kind of anarchic kind of yeah, yeah. funny thing. But he did. He, he asked you back, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah. I think the band were going to play Leeds. It's says, do you fancy coming on playing this? Who? What does it say? I've been he in... has said that he regrets getting rid of You're the only, the only one he regrets getting rid of. Yeah. yeah. But I was, uh, I was in there for about three or four hours and back in the Foresters. Right. And he kept just repeating this, like he, you know, we was. He kept yeah. Repeating something and go, ah, 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 you know, grabbing your arm. And go, right, hey, okay. It's funny that, isn't it? It's yeah. funny, isn't it? I thought, well, it's not that fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> I thought oh, I was in, is in a bad way. Right. Okay. And then, but what you said, Steve. The two or three years after that were an absolute nightmare. Uh, yeah, I, I, think, I didn't miss. A I thing. think you got out at the right time. Definitely. Yeah. 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 Gone. Simon got out at the right time as well, didn't he? Just after that. Yeah. Yeah. No, it went really downhill after that. No. No, oh, Simon. Yeah. Wilson Coffee Week. Yeah. yeah. Well, he had more. Was it more like arguments about credits and stuff? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Which is weird because I, I, I never had that. No, it's because we never said anything, did we? None of us ever said anything about credits. It was you might we might say it to each other, but no one ever. I don't report. It was our the biggest topic of conversation. Yeah, yeah. Who the f- <laughs> I wrote that. Yeah. <laughs> but that, I mean, that, that's a, that's a well, dis- that way. We're, we're back to wings again, aren't we? That's uh, a disgrace, that. that you've not got a credit on wings. Well, no, I'm not. I mean, that's mental. I didn't even know I wasn't credit, but everybody knows I wrote this. That's enough for me. I mean, yeah, it's just no parsnips, though, does it? Yeah, I pissed off with um, yeah. oh, I- Cruisers Creek. <laughs> Why? Well, you yeah. don't get a credit for the uh, the yeah. chorus or the break, because otherwise it would just be a great riff. Right? It is a good riff. It is a good riff. Ding, Who wrote the riff? Uh, Bricks. 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 Right, OK. Well, it's a great riff. Or the other part. Did you? I remember yeah. pointing out, and John Fogarty was there as well. 
he'd brought the single round. Right. And I like, looked at it and it's kind of got. The publisher would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the, not the guy out of Crean's Crew, what a and it had Smith Smith says, well, what's this? You know I wrote the uh, mm-hmm. do, do, do thing or whatever it is. And Brit says, go, oh, yeah, we'll get that signed in. And Jock, yeah, we'll get that signed when we publish it. And it never happened. No, it never does, because they, they said exactly the same thing to me about slanking. Oh, we forgot We forgot to give you the credit on that. Did so you write that? Yeah, well, the, the keyboard bit, Mark sort of did it on a kazoo, but it was nothing like But it's, not, it's half the song, isn't it? Oh, no, but I, 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 I never pursued well, no, it. Well, no, you should have credit for stuff you've yeah. done, yeah. He went like... <laughs> Can you make a riff out of that? And I'm ding, 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 ding. But, no, you've not, I've not got credit. We meant to give you credit, but we forgot we'll sort it out. Like, you don't sort it out, but... It never, it's never sorted out. No, no, yeah. it's just no. not. I mean, going on that theme of credits, I was pissed off. You did the um, Ben Sinister thing or something in London, didn't you? Yes, yes. Was it Ben Sinister? Yeah. The listening. listening thing. And uh, I saw a Twitter thing from Bricks saying, ROD, mm-hmm. my riff, my um, lead. And it was mine. Right. And I remember Mark asking me, Craig, could you show Bricks this so she can figure something out? So I'm going, ding, 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 yeah. ding, 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 ding. Right. And she's like figuring out something on the guitar. But in the Twitter, it's like going, I'm harking back to my surf years. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Then the fall, fall eyes did. Yeah, but there's a, there's a, there's a thing about that, though. No, but oh. when you a total kind of non-memory... This was my. It's a great fucking down, yeah. down, 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 down. But she's playing along to something I wrote. Right. And then to like say, like she had it in her coffers there. Yeah. yeah. This is what's it. I mean, but I mean, it's just it's, dishonest. But there's a, there's a lot of that, and there's a lot of. Things. Well, no, not retro. Now he's dead. You know, everyone should just be fucking honest. Oh well, yeah. And I mean, who now can he's be dead. Asked? You can like say, oh, because uh, she's like going, oh, Mark invited me. Begged me to come to England yeah. to produce my songs. Yeah, well, that's bullshit. So, what would you reckon was the what was the best period of the fall for you that you were in? Would you say? Would you, and I, I, I don't care if you say I was there or whatever. I don't give a fuck. But, but you you weren't. No, no, I'm sure. <laughs> so I'm sure why would you mention that? <laughs> because just I just wanted to free you up, Craig, to say what you like. Well, it's quite extensive, to be honest. Well, that's good, isn't it? The, 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 I mean, obviously, the little bugbear you have about rooms to live. And that was I'm a, getting over that. That too. wasn't a pleasant experience. It wasn't no, a pleasant not experience. Not being invited to the party. No, no. Uh, well, it wasn't a pleasant experience. But I'm, I'm, I'm more of the opinion now that if you, say, took X Induction out of Room to Live <laughs> and said, well, that's, and that's one double album, that'd be quite the double album, really, wouldn't it? You know? And I, I, my memories of how good the album is are tainted by I didn't enjoy the experience. So it's not really fair to do. Well, me and Mark Riley were kind of privy to uh, your traitorous okay. actions. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I am convinced that it was the other way we were, around. We were, because right? we weren't there. Yeah, yeah. If it had been the other way around, they'd have staged up, they'd have placards outside, you and Mark walking up and down freely, I'm, I'm so. just happy. <laughs> I think Celestrian Studio mm. came out well. Which yes. Is like one of mine. Yeah, that's all six of us, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Which is an indication that it could have been great. Yeah, it could have been great. I know I would say that about that. I think the actual idea the marquee I think it's a great song. Really? Yeah. But it's like Just taking the first rehearsal of a cassette and it is, yeah. 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 another I mean, six. I kind of embellished it when we did it live. It was Miles Live, yeah. yeah. But another six months in that album would have been great. I just think lyrically, Mark Ejach. He, he was on fire, then, He's wasn't he? fantastic. He's brilliant. The brilliant concept, Falklands War, yeah. Lord Ha Ha. Yeah, it's really clever on every level. Yeah. Yeah. But, no, but forget that. What, what, when were you happiest in the band, or when did you think the band was the best that you were in? I should have broke up around that time. No, I mean, there's loads, but I've, I've got fond memories of the extra cake. So, of you. I think most of them, uh, I think there's. I was dead happy with Ben Sinister. Yeah. I don't I don't know if people like that though, do they? No, I don't no. I think it's kind of it's kind of under I think the radar, isn't it? It's a brilliant Sinister. kind of gloomy LP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's not one that's shit sleeve as well. 
Yeah, we'll get enough more pictures of Mark on it. Yeah, yeah. And but this nation saving grace is a lot of people's eye spot. Would that be yours? Well, well, that was a great period as well. I think really good. Yeah, I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was a good period though. I must say. It was. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's Simon Rogers. There was money yeah, about but it. The one yeah. Simon is credited for. Oh, yeah, here I we go. I fucking hate that. What? Despite the Victorian Charles. Charles. You don't like that, no? It's too prog rock for me. It's too mm. fancy pants. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he was a proper musician, though, wasn't he? <laughs> Simon Rogers. Well, that's the thing, though. You, you can't write songs if you're fully you trained. You reckon? Well, I think you kind of. You know how to do. Yeah, I know you know. That's what, to do. That's what um, Steve Steve said about when we joined with Jason Brown. Who, who can write songs? Don't get me wrong, but he was every riff he's got has got a name. <laughs> so it's, it's a blue, mixolydian blue scale in the. But I mean, I think you can say. Well, I say you've got to unlearn stuff if you're classically trained. You taught all the well, pro- correct things to do. We were. We yeah, but it's were, not impossible, we is it? We were amateurs, and uh, yeah. we did it by just. Yeah, I know, but it's not. A song it's not impossible right. to be classically trained, and to you know, it happens in art all the time, would not it? You, you, that you take what you've learned and disregard it and do something different. It's not. It's not impossible. Yeah, but it? you can't slum it because yeah, it, w- it would be slumming if if Simon tried to. Uh, I mean, a lot of people like Spike Victoria and Chad. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's not, it's not my bag. It's too, uh, it is too overcomplicated. Right. And I think if Simon Trap just kind of came with, I've got this one. You think, well, you're just insulting those peasants, aren't you? That's the type <laughs> well, of stuff so we... basically, what you're saying there is he can't fucking win, can he? Well, no, it'd be patronising me. Yeah, exactly. He can show his skill on the guitar and be right. spoiled the guitar in town. Mm-hmm. But you don't like it? I don't, because it's... As I say, it's too fancy-fancy. I don't think it's very fall. Well, that's an interesting, that's an interesting question. What is What is, what is fall? You can't, you know, some of that... Like you say, some of the stuff with... Um, the stuff that you never know when to end. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of that. There is a lot of that. <laughs> But uh, what's the stuff with Dave Bush? Isn't you wouldn't say it's similar to Dragnet, would you? But it's still the fault. You wouldn't say you know it's still the same band. But, yeah, it's a but different why phase is it? Of the I know, but why is it the same band? But it's not. It, I, I'm, the, the whole thing about Mark e. Smith and his uh, you know and the Grammy on bongos, I find massively insulted and Yeah, that's offensive. Yeah. 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 But and Blade and Al melts to death. <laughs> eh? And but, yeah. God, Mark, it's just like the first thing people oh, say. No. You, you just oh. know it's a bad, sure. bad, ju- bad journalist sure when they mention it. I'm not even actually said it. You know. Apparently Dave Bush claims he said it. He claims he made it up, yeah. yeah. It's you and anyway, anyway it's, it's an awful offensive statement yeah. anyway. Yeah, it's an insult to, to anyway. all them people. Yeah. And, that, you know, Mark wouldn't have existed without a decent band behind him. No, That's because... His spoken word LPs, aren't it? I don't know when fucking... Been told that in America. <laughs> you know, you do that in the uh, Texas, <laughs> Texas Steakhouse. <laughs> I've never heard it. I wouldn't know. <laughs> I have, um, but I can imagine it. Yeah, yeah. But so, but, but we, 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 who are we talking about? If in 1978, end of 1978, 1979, if Mark Smith had come to you and said. Martin's leaving the band, we're going to call it right, it's going to be Mark E. Smith with backing musicians. Would you like to play behind me? You'd have still done it, wouldn't you? I think. Wouldn't you? But what? But well, it's, no, it was I, the fall, wasn't it? Yeah, there's a majesty of the fall in that way. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, when I saw him, as I say, they thought, this is the band. Because you would have done it. No, if but it... Yeah, we had a lot of autonomy, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So we weren't kind of a. Well, Mark was. Mark couldn't write songs. He had a occasional f- flares of genius, and you can tell it's all kind of like you know a two note, down, 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 down. down, down. A bit of length, no, you're right, yeah, yeah. And later, I mean, you, you, you later can't... what was that? Pinch stuff. Yeah. Well, bum, I'd pay your rates, I don't know. Was, was it pinch stuff? Oh, was the one you, you were talking about the other day? Well, your babysitter's is um, uh, Mia Sood. Mia Sood. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was my babysitter. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. 
come out of that, though. Yeah. Right. But you can always tell Mark stuff because a lot of them it's got. Yeah. Where you bend the string. Right. So, um. My new house is ding a 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 Because I remember him, play this, Craig. He didn't say play it like he said, he just said, just play this. <laughs> you know, so we've got, you know, ding a ding a ding a ding a ding a ding Every fucking song he's shown me, it's got a kind of ding in it. <laughs> so you can always tell where Mark's had an impact. It's only so I can take that, though. But it's the cat, you're not getting 40 did, albums out of that. He did generally. Really cool. I didn't know that babysitters I only learned about that years ago. I only found that the years I remember later. him like just going play do, 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 do. yeah I mean it's a great song isn't it so do you not tap into the idea that there's a big thing about Hex in there and people talk about that do you, that, I wouldn't have thought that have, it's not your favourite I've thought that by a long shot yeah, it's a good LP. It's a good LP, it's yeah. My favourite. It's my favourite for LP. Well, it's certainly the favourite of mine. I'm on. <laughs> certainly any, the favourite of the ones I'm on. <laughs> Give all. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cheers. It's fucking hell, ain't it? Choice. <laughs> you, wrote a, you wrote a book about you, vain, vain bastard. <laughs> I was asked to write it. <laughs> 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 well, no, I think we're I think we're slagged off. Right, so X UK. Yeah. I'm looking at this here just to remind me. Yeah, of course, yeah. That's it. Look, look, look oh, all right. Good old. Man. Chicago now is good, isn't it? Mm. I'm surprised you don't get credit on that. It's just, it's just so Mark. am I. It's just Mark. <laughs> so am I. Yeah. Me, me and Simon. But me and Simon are in that warehouse in Ancoats. <laughs> For days doing that. Yeah, they wouldn't give it like that, would they? Yeah, I've, yeah. I've fucking live with it, Steve. <laughs> I am. Such is life. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I didn't get credit on it. <laughs> We'll get, we're going to get back to Wings in a minute. I'm, I'm thinking of the petition in Parliament that Craig will get a credit on Wings. I created a guitar sound there. Yeah. 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 Very modest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I started a generation there. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be a good one, wouldn't it? We should go around everybody who's in the fall. What's your greatest injustice on credits? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think that's been on for fucking years, that though, isn't it, really? <laughs> so, I mean, I think Cold Selfish is slagged off. Still a good album. Is it? It's some good thing. Yeah, that, I mean, that was... I think that Birmingham School of Business, sir, uh, is good. Great. I love that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And I remember Stuart Lee. He's the only one who kind of got it out. He says it sounds like the guitarist is playing a guitar solo with an utter contempt for guitar solos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, that's that, your yeah. career, that, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that's no, it's very true. Yeah, yeah, I know it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to figure out how to play I Can't Stand the Rain. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, I always, I always when think I got that... kind of bored a bit. I said, "Oh, it sounds a bit like that." Let's try and figure out if it's real because it's all live. Yeah. I, didn't I, I always it. think your guitar solo on Container Drivers is someone who says, "Boy, so this will get me." Something. I think that fits perfectly. That's a proper Gene Vincent ragar solo Gene for, Vin- a, for high energy oh. song. I thought it's quite. It it's like, quite it's, like fuck, it's George Foreman. Never oh, mind, fucking Gene. Well, it's just taking it down. It's, br- no, it, it, it's, it's brilliant, uh, but it's like I cannot believe it. I cannot I convince. Anybody would think of playing that over that. That's wow. Well, amazing. You'd, do a, you'd do a cliche thing, then, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, you would. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, we did it with um, for the book launch, and Jason played it, and it, and I was thinking. That's a guitar solo, though. That's not what Craig's playing on this. You know, Craig's not Exactly, that. yeah. yeah. It's, it's supposed to be a little kind of Gene Vincent acoustic. <laughs> a feeble, like acoustic shit. It was definitely feeble. It is, it is, isn't it? Wow. Nobody likes Gentleman's Agreement as well, for some reason. I think it's a nice song. That's a good song. <laughs> Married no. two kids. I think that's a great song. Yeah. Right? Lyrically, I think yeah. Mark's you? really good. Well, you weren't married with two it's kids a while. Ev- yeah, it's every man that though. Right. Really. And that's why I think it's. Well, you've got to be careful. You're looking at lyrics. You've got to be careful with Mark's lyrics. That you, you, 
that they're all about one thing as well, because they never yeah. are. No, no, of course. No, they've no. never been met in the day. Whoever wasn't in the room at the time, <laughs> that type of stuff, it really is. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> when I used to go for a drink with Mark in the, um, the Woodthorpe, it's slag off. Mostly Carl, right. Dave Bosch, yeah. anybody who asked him for money. <laughs> No, it was Simon. Yeah. Well, Simon's asking for a pay for his no. petrol. Right. But then again, Simon used to be his taxi driver, yeah. wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. I never had. But I knew. No, no. Oh, no. Well, you lasted as long as you did. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you ended up in the porno. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish I'd asked for more. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I think we're going to have to wrap it up there, gentlemen. Yeah, what an absolute second half. Yeah, yeah, feed now. Oh, man. Hey. So you come back and do another one? Yeah, we only just started. I think, I think it should be a part two. Yeah, we'll have Definitely. to do a part Definitely. two. Definitely. What about we do? We could do a four, four of us, me, you and Mark and Craig. How do you fancy that? That'd be brilliant. Yeah, yeah. let's do that. Yeah. I've not right. seen Mark for fucking ages. Right, you heard it here first, listeners. <laughs> the the, 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 the line-up that brought you grotesque will be uh, reunited <laughs> for you several like, times. He'd, he'd agree to do it. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Right, okay. Well, thanks so much, Craig. Beautiful. Yeah, right? well, Absolutely man. fantastic. Thanks for joining us this week on Old Brother. Episodes are released every second Monday, so watch for episode 8 in two weeks. Please follow us on Twitter, at Old Brother Show, where you'll find a link to Spotify and subscribe via iTunes, Stitcher or RSS so you'll never miss an episode. While you're at it, give us a rating on iTunes. Subscribe on the YouTubes or just tell your friends. For further reading, you can check out our books about the fall, The Big Midweek and Have a Bleeding Guest, both of which feature Craig, of course, from Root Publishers and all good bookstores. Hope to speak to you all again soon, and if you're driving, take your car. Ta-da!